This is KFBB's Construction. We are building our television studio complete with, and I just measured it, eight foot high tower made entirely out of Campbell's soup cans. We use the Campbell's cans because of the red and white pattern. And as you know, TV antennas are red and white to help, uh, help airplanes see them. And at the top, we've got a blinking light. We're gonna add some more blinking lights to the sides and some guy wires. And I think we're gonna have a couple guys climbing our tower here too. This isn't the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but it's turning into that. Uh, we also had a little bit of trouble with the building, which is made out of Cheerios boxes. Um, that's our actual, that's a representation of our TV studio. And uh, we had a trouble getting the roof to stand up. We got involved with this last year. Uh, one of our salespeople is actually on the board at the food bank, and she really got us revved up about this. And uh, we thought it was something really unique uh, to do. Uh, you, know, you know, a lot of people have food drives, but to be able to build something out of your food, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. This is a giant spring chapter of credit unions for Great Falls. It encompasses Montana Federal Credit Union, Great Falls Teachers Federal Credit Union, Russell Country Federal Credit Union, and First Liberty Federal Credit Union. And we are building Wally. -E. Wally -E is a character, a Pixar character. Um, he is picking up garbage. The world has come to an end, and he's picking up garbage taking care of um, trying to trying to make the world good again. It's going very well so far. We've had a couple leans, but it's going very well. <laughs> this is our third year, and we've placed each year. We've re received um, awards each year. Well, we'll do this for the food bank because credit unions are for people helping people, and there's no other better way to help people than to help with a, a fun project, and we can give food to the people that need it. We're having a great time. I represent the Great Falls Association of Realtors, and we are building an F-15 and a Minuteman missile as a tribute to our military. And our slogan for our build is, we can defend against hunger. We're having slight problems with making things level in the missile to go up the height that we need to. The structures are not real wide, and so they're real tall. And so they, the problematic of keeping everything level on each, each row makes it tough. It's a great food drive for the food bank. We enjoy putting, giving back to the community and being a part of the food bank and how we can help bring out what's going on with hunger and how much of an issue it is within all of our communities. It's a lot of fun and it's a great project to put together as an organization, um, even just as a small group of people. There are a lot of people out there that will give donations and will help out if you need their assistance. There's great architects and engineers in Great Falls to help also. We have an awesome engineer with us this year, uh, Tony Houts from CTA Architects, and he does an amazing job. I'm here with uh, Victory Christian Center, and we are building Noah's Ark. Two by two, one can feed the world. Noah collected two of every animal so that he could, we would have, uh, you know, two uh, different species, different animals to go out for so that we would have an abundance of food and uh, eating. And so we're collecting uh, cans so that we can do basically the same thing and help out the community. Uh, we had a cave-in. There was a uh, structure a lot more complicated than last year. We had a uh, we have a hole inside this uh, arc that we're building right now. And uh, during the pre-build, we had it standing up pretty good. We went home, came back the next day, and about the top five rows were collapsed inward. It was a pretty sad time. I cried. <laughs> we're we're trusting in God. <laughs> God's keeping this right. up. <laughs> These teams coming together really shows that there's support for the food bank um, as well as the opportunity for them to raise a lot of food for us, which is really critical, you know, obviously to be coming from the community to do that. This is just about the most fun you can have with your coworkers. I would really recommend to do it, and I'd like to personally challenge all other media outlets to bring it on next year. Well, we'll do this for the food bank because credit unions are for people helping people. And there's no other better way to help people than to help with a, a fun project and we can give food to the people that need it. Well, once you do it, you're hooked. Um, so if you become a team member and it's the first time you've ever done it, it's a little uncomfortable at first because you're not sure what to expect, but it is a lot of fun and I can tell you by tomorrow these teams will already be thinking about what their ideas are for next year. It's really important for us to have events like this. It's really important for the community to support us uh, and we love doing construction. It's a fun way of raising food. Two tons. Two tons. Two tons. Yeah, we got about two tons. 
Yep, about 1,974 of these size cans right here. Can be. So it's just a lot of fun. You, it's a good cause helping out in the community, and you get to uh, you know, be creative. Oh yeah, we got uh, lots of pork and beans. We're either going to love them or they're going to hate them. <laughs>